Well, good morning, everybody. Hope you had a beautiful weekend. I'm glad you're with me for today's devotion. In our Bible reading plan, we are in Psalm 134, which is the last of 15 psalms that are uh, have the head the heading in, in our Bibles as a song of ascents. And you remember that these were psalms, and, and psalms are, are poetry and they're music. They would sing the psalms, chant the psalms. And the psalms or songs of ascent are ones they would sing on their way to the temple, to Jerusalem, to worship. And this is the last one. And it may actually be one that uh, they sang as they were leaving, okay, as they were uh, leaving. And and it seems to be addressed to the Levite singers who would uh, who lived at the temple uh, and would lead in worship and music. And the book of Chronicles, First Chronicles, chapter nine, verse thirty-three tells us they did that day and night. So there was a, a night shift, just like there was a day shift. And it seems to be addressed to them. And if you if you can picture it in your mind, these worship worshipers have come to the temple, brought their sacrifices, and they've worshipped, and now they're leaving. Maybe they're leaving late at night, or they're leaving early in the morning, and it's still dark. And the first two verses, think of it like a, a sing and a repeat, okay? So the first two verses, it's, it's what the congregation, the worshipers would sing, and actually sing to the Levites. And then verse 3 would be the response of the Levites. And uh, with that in mind, look at the first two verses. Behold how good... No, I'm, I started reading verse chapter 30. I started reading 133 verse 1, 134 verse 1. Um, so imagine the congregation singing this. Behold, bless the Lord, all servants of the Lord, who serve by night in the house of the Lord. Nighttime uh, in the temple, the house of the Lord. So those Levites and others who serve during the evening hours, if you will. So behold, bless the Lord, all servants of the Lord, who serve by night in the house of the Lord, singing to the priest and the Levites. Uh, you all bless the Lord, praise the Lord. Verse two, lift up your hand to the sanctuary and bless the Lord. So as they're leaving on their way back home, it's as though they're singing back to the those who lead the work. You all just keep blessing. God. Y'all keep praising God. And then those who lead the worship, the Levites, the singers, respond to the congregants as they are leaving the temple in verse 3 by saying, and may the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made heaven and earth. So they're walking away, and may the Lord bless you. As you're leaving and going back, may the Lord bless you from Zion. Zion, a name for Jerusalem, a name for the temple itself, the temple mount. And in their theology, the temple symbolized the very presence of God. And it's as though these priests and Levites are saying to the congregation as they walk out the door, as they walk down the hill, as they leave the city, and may the Lord bless from this place, from here in his house, may the Lord's presence who created everything, heaven and earth, may he bless you. So these worshipers at the end of the service are leaving and they say to the Levites, you all keep praising God. And then the Levites respond to the worshipers as they leave and may the Lord bless you. Brief Psalm, just three verses. But I think that's the image that, uh, that, uh, that's taking place here. And I love that image. I just think it's beautiful. The, uh, the priest and the Levites blessing the people and the people blessing the Levites. It's a beautiful image. You know, in our day, that makes for a healthy church. Makes for a healthy church. Definitely better than uh, the pastor being angry at and and cursing, so to speak, not cuss words, but just saying bad things and negative things about the congregation, better than the congregation saying bad things about the preacher and being critical and all of that. Uh, I just think the image of the people going home saying, bless you and may you keep blessing Jesus, keep blessing God and the pastor, the Levite saying, and may the Lord's presence bless you is a beautiful image of how the people of God should be. So it's just an encouragement for us to bless one another. And that, my friends, is Psalm 134. Hey, God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow as we look at Psalm 135.